Now this next step in our spinning globe tutorial series is perhaps the most complicated step and that is to create a radial gradient overlay to our globe to give it a more 3D effect. So that's what we're going to use our remaining circle for. So let's bring that circle over here and resize it so it will cover our globe. And to keep the shape's perspective, you can hold down the control and shift key like I was doing to resize the shape and keep its dimensions, or perspective I should say. So I want to make that just as big as the other circle, and now that I have that, I want to make sure I do not have an outline around that shape. And now we're going to do some fancy formatting. So the tools that are actually on our Drawing Tools Format tab will not suffice. So we need to open up our big Format Shape dialog box. Now to do that, let's right click the shape and go all the way to Format Shape. I'm just going to drag this to the side so you can see it a little bit better. Now we're going to change the fill from a solid fill to a gradient fill. And by default, it will use this blue, light blue shade. It will be set to type linear, and you can see what all the, the directions that you can have to choose from with linear. Well, the first thing we want to do is change the type to radial since we're working with a circle. Now we can also change the direction. As you can see over here, we have it going from light kind of diagonally down to that darker blue. We want to choose the option that is from center. With that selected, you can see how our object shades from darker in the middle and lighter on the outside. Now the next thing that we want to do is to adjust the colors of our gradient stops. Now our first gradient stop is selected and so we want to be sure to click on it just yeah it is selected and we're going to change that color to black. And in fact we're going to do that for the rest of the gradient stops. Let's click and change the color. Click and change the color. And right now it just looks like a big old black hole. Well, we're going to adjust that by playing with our transparency levels. So going back to that very first gradient stop, which should be positioned in the center, we want to drag that transparency slider all the way to 100%. Next, we're going to grab hold of stop 2 of 3 and grab that to 50%. And the last one we're going to leave at zero transparency or completely opaque black. Now we can adjust how this object is shaded by sliding these gradient stops. So I actually want to make the center a little bit more transparent and I want to make the edges a little bit more opaque. And you can play around with these levels to get it to look however you like. But I think I like this way so I'm going to leave it at that and then click close. And that is creating a radial gradient overlay to a shape.